Welcome to the Union Weekly Insider. I'm Allison Meyer, and this is the official podcast for the Union Weekly out of Cal State Long Beach. I'm going to take you behind the scenes and show you what it takes to put together a weekly publication. Hello, welcome. This is our last meeting of the semester. Um, mm-hmm. And consequently, uh, the last issue of the semester. And the yeah. last time. Is the final week of the Union Weekly. This, of course, has been a bittersweet time for everyone in the office. For editor in chief Alex Ramos, just the phrase elicits a profound reaction. Okay, so it's last week. It's last week of the union. I'm sad now. As soon as you said that, I got sad. I keep on forgetting that's the last week of the union. So, um, how, how are you feeling about that? Oh man, my heart is just my heart just dropped as soon as you said that. Even though I've been saying it for like three, four weeks, my heart just dropped hearing someone else say it's the last week of the union. It's uh, it's a lot sadder than I thought it was going to be. Because it's going to be the same thing, really. It's still going to be, you know, student run. And it's still going to be people messing around in the office and then huddling together on Saturdays to put it together. But it's just, it's sad, you know. It's all sad. For managing editor Bailey Mount, the end of the union brings nostalgia. I got a little nostalgic uh, last Friday. Right now, I'm choking it all down. Yeah. I will probably get a little choked up on Saturday. And it'll be annoying because I think I'm the only one who will get visibly choked up. Or the only one who won't try to redirect my feelings when they get choked up. Of course, no matter how sad we are in the office, this doesn't stop us from joking about it. (laughs) What did Alex say? Al, what did Alex say? (laughs) Alex said that he felt his heart drop when I said it was the final week of the oh, union. Oh no. So maybe he will get choked up, who knows. Oh, man, Why are you gonna sell me out like that, Alex? Al, if he gets choked up, I have to live with him. I'm gonna wake up in the middle of the night and just hear sobbing. <laughs> just, he's gonna shake your shoulders. Bailey! 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 <laughs> the union! <laughs> it's over! Bailey, I killed the union! <laughs> Bailey, it's dead! You're like, Alex, I had a lock on my door. What the fuck did you do? It's just hanging off its hinges. No, worse. I came in through the window. <laughs> <laughs> Bailey! Bailey! There Bailey. is no union. There is no union weekly in the oh USU. Oh my god. Oh jeez. Here you go, Al. Thanks. Regardless of feelings, the paper has to be made. Alex filled me in on the feature for the final week. So for this final week, I am writing the feature. I interviewed this group of students that competed in a business competition a couple weeks ago and they came to me and they pitched the idea they were like hey you know we're wondering if you would spotlight us and i'm like you know what that sounds like a really good story um most of the year we tried to do like these grand stories on like abstract ideas like censorship um what it means to be a queer woman and things like that and recently we've been tackling more tangible things so like when Diana wrote the story about the um, the DIY scene, the DIY music scene, and then when Warda and Sam did the the story on the Cambodian genocide and how that brought in a bunch of uh, Cambodian immigrants, um, I really like those. I really like those because it's it's something that when you read it, you know who they're talking about because you can pinpoint it on the map. You know the places that they're talking about, the people that they're talking about, and so th- for this one, that's why I decided to just go with it. Um, it sort of came to me as I was interviewing them on Friday. And I thought this is a re- this would be a really good story to like end the year with because it's it's local, it has to do with students here on the on our campus. And it just sounded like a really good story because it was this group of immigrant, not immigrant, but um, uh, international students as well as first generation students that competed in this business competition, all undergraduates except for one, and they ended up winning and it was a big deal because they were going up against MBA students, students that had all the the knowledge and all this experience and they somehow were able to beat them. So it's a real feel good story, I think. And hopefully it turns out well, because I'm writing it. Well, I did have the inside scoop. Bailey did not. We gotta figure out the feature. So I'm not feature. We're good, what's it about? I'm not telling you, it's a surprise. Oh, I don't like that. Of course, while this is the end of the Union Weekly, this isn't the end of production for the staff. 
The summer issue is the next thing on the agenda. I mean, it's not completely dead because we still have one more project to work on. What's that? So after this, our final issue of the semester, we're going to be working on our best of slash summer issue. And that's where we compile our best stories of the year, as well as a feature story on the Union Weekly, oh my God. on K Beach and on College Beat. And that's basically going to be to set up for 22 West next year. Mm -hmm. And that's going to go out to source students, so students doing the story orientation. It's going to be on stands all summer, so anybody visiting the campus is going to see it. During the final meeting, many things were discussed, including which editors were getting spreads. All right, you got a you got a spread. You get a spread. You get a spread. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. A big announcement was also in order. The goal is to keep the online presence up. I'm still going to contribute, even though I'm not going to be here anymore. She's going to mm -hmm. be in charge also. She's in charge. Yee. She's is it official? your new editor-in-chief. Is it official? Stop! Yay! Is it official? That's right. Managing editor Bailey Mount is now editor-in-chief Bailey Mount. The meeting ended with a final thanks from Alex and Bailey. But yeah, nothing really too much, guys, except really thank you for a wonderful year. All of you that maybe showed up this semester, whatever, seriously. It was pretty fun. Gracias. And we did a really good job. In the end, no matter what flag we may fly under, there will always be a home for those who want to give a voice to the students in ASI Student Media. And hey, thanks for listening. What about you? What about me? What's your last project? <laughs> I mean, technically speaking, Bad Fan Fiction Fridays is my last project to wrap up, I think. Mm -hmm. Since this will come out before the last episode of BFF. Mm -hmm. But, uh, yeah. How do you feel? It's like it's coming to an end way too soon. Like, I only just got started here. Now I'm gone. Getting shot off into space like a monkey. Well, you're getting shot off into space like a monkey, but at least you're a well prepared monkey. Am I? You're gonna do great. Ah. Uh, oh, dear. You're ready, Allison. Go, fly into space. Thank you for listening to the Union Weekly Insider. To listen to more episodes, check us out on iTunes or any of your favorite podcast apps. New episodes of this podcast drop every Wednesday during the semester. Our multimedia manager is Allison Meyer. Music in this episode is from the YouTube Audio Library. You can find issues of the Long Beach Union Weekly online at lbunion.com and on Medium. Go to medium.com and search Long Beach Union Weekly. Please follow us on Snapchat, Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook at Union Weekly.